Now let's talk about some of the different styles of knives that you can find in the kitchen. Now the smallest of all the kitchen knives is the humble paring knife. Now the name paring knife comes from the act of paring, which involves taking the knife in one hand while holding the product in the other hand and paring off small edible pieces. This is typically done with things like, let's say broccoli or cauliflower when pulling off little uh, florets. The paring knife has a very short uh, curved cutting edge which really doesn't lend itself to any work involving a cutting board, although you could possibly use it to uh, drag slice. Now slightly longer than the paring knife is the utility knife. Utility knives can have a blade that's anywhere from three to maybe five or six inches in length. And you can see that it doesn't have much of a heel to it. So very much like the paring knife, it doesn't really lend itself to a lot of knife work right on the cutting board. However, the, the curved edge and the, the length of this blade could be used for maybe elliptical slicing or drag slicing. One thing you can do is modify your grip so that you can, so you're not bashing your, your fingers on the cutting board. Because of its size and the, the way the handle fits around my fingers, I typically use it for smaller and more delicate items, such as slicing mushrooms or mincing garlic or ginger. Next, I wanna talk about the serrated knife. Often confused as a bread knife, the serrated knife has a distinguishing scalloped cutting edge that lends itself to that sawing motion that I described in another video that works really well with products that are hard on the outside but very soft on the inside. Now this particular serrated knife is called an offset serrated knife as opposed to a, a straight bread knife like this one here. The, the difference being the way the handle is offset from the blade, which when you are slicing products on a cutting board allows you to make your way all the way down through the product, all the way down to the cutting board without hitting your knuckles. Now I wanna show you the cleaver or meat cleaver. It's big, it's thick, it's heavy. It has a straight cutting edge, it is thick, it's weighty, it's perfect for getting through a big thick pieces of say tough vegetables like potatoes or carrots or thick chunks of meat. Now if you can get over the intimidation factor of how it looks, a, a cleaver can actually be very practical. You can, you can do the drag slice or even the elliptical along with doing your chopping motions. Next, I wanna to talk to you about the chef's knife. Now, the chef's knife is kind of your, your go-to, multi-purpose, can do practically anything with it, kitchen knife. The reason why the chef's knife is so versatile is because it, it kind of combines all the best parts of all the different knives. You have the curved part of the blade, similar to your paring knife or utility knife, and then you have the flat and straight part of the cutting edge, which makes it more like a cleaver, and then you have this offset handle, much like the offset serrated knife. You throw it all together, you've got a knife that can pretty much do everything. <music>